Hello everyone, welcome back to your channel Mom Goody Days. I am yet again back with another video giving a solution to the biggest problem that we have been facing during the pandemic that is the hair removal. I've been using a product lately and I'm quite loving it. Uh, also, since I've already made a video on wax powder, it does fall as my responsibility to give you a comparison between these two products. That way you'll have a better idea on which one to choose and that way you can make your best decisions so without further ado let's get started and the product that I was talking about is the Philips epilator let me show you how exactly it looks like it looks like this and it comes with two modes of speed as well and it comes with a cord and this wire is definitely long enough so that you can sit comfortably and use it when we talk about a hair removal product the most asked question is whether this particular product remove the hairs from the roots if so how long does it take for the hair to come back now this particular epilator does remove your hair from the roots whenever i use it i can see that root at the end so which is quite impressive and because it removes the hair from the root it does take uh, around like 15 days for the hair to come back which is actually a big thumbs up next question is how do we use it there are epilators which can be used on wet skin as well when you're under the shower but this one can only be used on the dry skin make sure your skin is dry before you are using this epilator to make it work efficiently make sure you hold it 90 degree like this that way it actually removes from the roots because when i tilt it a little i've noticed that it just trims the hair but doesn't pick the hair from the root also make sure you're moving the epilator in the opposite direction of the hair that has grown and that way it definitely works beautifully because it's an epilator the next question would definitely be does this pain oh uh, it's a tricky one it's also subjective because some people can even you know take the pain as well but let me tell my experience over here i actually don't have much of a hair so i do have a very thin hair so uh, i didn't actually feel any pain only at some particular point i did notice pain otherwise i actually didn't see any pain but people with thick hair can definitely feel some pain for sure because when i tried it on my underarms for the first time i found it really painful i thought that it is not meant for this one but yeah then later i started using it better then i got an idea like how i have to exactly use it you don't have to really rush holding the epilator and move it across your skin instead go very slow that way it helps to pick the hair efficiently also you have to place it very close to your skin if you place it a little higher than your skin definitely it does just trim your hair and when it comes to underarms it does pain more when you lift that epilator a little above your skin and try to move it and it also comes with a sensitive cap which you can put it and you can use it in your sensitive areas as well next question would be can we use it on the face i would say it is not gentle enough to actually use it on the face nor do the brand recommends you to do so so hey, for the face it's a big no-no things to consider here is that this epilator since it removes the hair from the root it can cause a little bumps on your skin or sometimes even redness some people can also end up having strawberry legs and hands but i would say it does stay for quite some time and settle down gradually so make sure that you're not scrubbing your body after you have removed your hair because skin would have turned really sensitive after you have removed the hair and then at the moment you have uh, done with your hair removal make sure you moisturize your skin really well i in fact go ahead and apply oil as well because uh, for me my skin turns out really dry after the hair removal so moisturizing my skin has really helped to a greater extent where can you buy this 
you can buy it in amazon or nika it does cost you around like 2795 rupees it does look a little expensive but i would say it's a one time investment and it's worth investing because once you buy it you can use it for years together that way if you compare you are actually spending less amount now coming to the comparison part as i told you in the beginning of the video that i'm going to compare this with the wax powder because i've used both of these and i've been loving both of these both of these are there in my stash so let's see how similar are these two products and how different are these two products coming to the first point compared to the price yes definitely this one is quite expensive when compared to the wax powder but as i told you it's one time investment you need not buy it again and again that way it saves your money uh, but definitely wax powder is a way more affordable thing so choose according to your choices second thing is that the hair growth part epilator does take around 15 days for the next hair to come while the wax powder does take around like 8 to 9 days for the next hair to come and the next thing is that wax powder when used did make my skin look a little brighter after every use but this one it doesn't do that going to the next comparison when apply the wax powder like you apply it completely to your hand and that way you can ensure that each and every hair is removed but with when it comes to epilator you know there are high chances that you leave hair here and there because we have to manually do it like we have to move it and we have to do it so we might end up leaving some hair here and there that's the only disadvantage something which i didn't like about wax powder that it does Uh, smell really bad but this one you don't definitely have that problem here i'm talking about the wax powder it can be used on your face as well but this for the face as i told you it's a big no no and the similarity with both the products is that after you have used this product you are going to love your skin because it's going to leave your skin smooth and shiny I will also do a demo on my skin and show you guys so that you will have a better picture as to how this exactly works. You can see I have very little hair and they are very thin as well. I will only do it on a very small portion and show you how it goes. Now you can see I am keeping it right perpendicular and I am also keeping it in mode one. For me. Mode one works better than mode two because mode two is a little quicker, is what I feel. You can see how beautifully it's removing each and every single hair, and after that, when I moisturize it, it looks beautiful. You can see this particular portion has no single hair left. So with that we have come to the end of the video and hope you all like the video if so please give me a thumbs up and also do comment in the comment section as to what you liked about the video or if you have been using this product do let me know how you have been feeling because i really like when you people mutually help each other because i see that in the wax powder video because i see a lot of comments where people ask another person who has used it uh, as to how they are feeling it and how is the regrowth because you know each person skin behaves differently and that way if you ask more questions if you talk more and that way you'll get to know like how exactly it is working i really want it to be very transparent just because i have spoken good about this product that doesn't mean that everyone has to talk good about it it's just my opinion and if you feel that it hasn't worked for you guys definitely put it in the comment section because i really want people to take use of this video and also when they see the comment section they can understand and like it can work differently for other people as well so i am open for such discussions in my comment section with that we have come to the end of the video and i'm going to meet you guys in the next video until then as i always say cherish every moment of your motherhood take care see you bye bye